Laskavu prosimu, druzi moji. In the last lesson, I created a custom texture brush. These are useful, for example, for building up layers of dirt and also for making graphic stamps, the way I did last week. Today, let's look at a way of getting even more control over your texture painting, stencils. Chodimo. Just like last time, I'll start with a default paint hard brush. So click the brush menu at the top left, paint hard, right click to duplicate. I'll give it a name, say Stripes Danger. Whilst I'm at it, I'll copy that name over to Tool Settings. You see, I've now got that brush selected. This time, I'm going to scroll down past the one I used last time. I'm going to go past Texture. Instead, go to the one beneath, Texture Mask. Click New. Now, it's important to name your texture probably something logical, both so you can keep track of it yourself and, and this is important, so that you can save it. Otherwise, Blender can lose the changes that you make to your brush. I'll call it Tex Stripes Danger. Now click this little button to open the texture settings. As before, I want to import a texture, so I'll click open and navigate to the one I want. Then I want to make sure I'm only using the alpha channel, you'll remember, so switch this to non-color. And, and then I need to make sure that Blender will only paint the white portion of this image, so under alpha, which has to be enabled, calculate alpha. Now, this is where we turn this into a stencil. Back down in the texture mask settings, set the mask mapping to stencil. Whilst we're here in the tool settings, let's set a preview image. Click this little drop down, edit preview image, navigate to the one you need. Now, all being well, when I move the cursor over the viewport, down low at the bottom left, we'll see a preview of the stencil. Now here's the trick, which can drive you crazy if you don't know it. To move it around, you need to hold Alt and the right mouse button. To scale it, hold Shift, Alt, right mouse button. And to rotate, Control, Alt, right mouse button. Up at the top left, you'll see a little asterisk by the brush name indicating that it needs saving. So just open the brush menu or the asset browser at the bottom, right click on your brush and save changes to asset. Now, a little warning. In my experience, the brush icons don't update or they often don't update. And what's even more confusing the stencil preview in the viewport sometimes shows the wrong image, maybe from a brush that you've previously used. It's very confusing. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. As long as you've got all your textures and all your brushes named and saved, it should write itself the next time you open Blender. Now I'll select my model and quickly set up an Uchu paint layer. And now I can paint using the brush as a stencil. Super handy. As ever, thanks very much for watching and see you soon. 3D from Zero makes tutorials and tips about 3D software. If you're into 3D or you'd like to be, check out my free course on 3dfromzero.com and there are some paid courses there too. Thanks for watching.